Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Today on Outlaw Woodworking, I've got all these safety glasses, like safety glasses, sunglasses, you know, I pile them up here on top of my bench and, and grab them when I need them, but they're just getting, they're getting to be a mess. And I, I recently saw a video of someone who made a little sunglass rack and it was super simple. And uh, yeah, let's get started. The first thing I realize is the boards aren't seven inches wide, so I'm going to need to rip these down and basically laminate some together to make a seven inch wide tower, which is no big deal. I decide to clean both sides of this up. I rip them down to five inches so that they'll actually be the right width for all the small pieces. So I cut the small pieces first on my chop saw. Uh, seven inches, uh, let's see, yeah, seven inches wide by f seven by four. I make the pieces and then, and then I, in I needed to make the other, the other boards. So these seven boards are seven inches wide and I basically laminate the whole tower together. Um, I decided to use my biscuit joiner. I haven't used that thing in a long time, uh, but it makes kind of, it, it keeps them all nice and flat. And I, I mean, I have it, so why not use it? And I, I glued them all together. I use these Bessie clamps and it, it they lay pretty flat on the Bessie clamps. So those, that's kind of nice. I proceed to glue it all up with the biscuit joints and yeah, that that made quick work of, of the lamination. I always put too much glue though and it ends up dripping all over the place. That's why I, I always use the plastic. Anyway, I clamp this thing down nice and tight, get it get it uh, glued up, and then I go back and I start cutting the little shelves and the, the little shelf pieces are the pieces that are going to be four by seven. And I basically rip those and then I chop them on the, on the chop saw. I only needed five of them. I ended up cutting too much wood actually, but I, I cut five of these pieces. Since I put the dust collection on my chop saw, it's really been working a lot better. I don't get any dust shooting up in my face anymore. So after I cut all five of those, I take it over and I put a quarter round router on, on three sides and clean them up. I should have actually ran these through the, pl the joiner first um, because I ended up having to router one side again because I, I didn't want to, um, instead of having to sand off that old finish that's on there, I ran them through my joiner and that that was made a little quicker work of that, plus it flattened them out real nice. I then took the laminated piece that, I, that was laminated and ripped it down so it was nice and square. And then um, took, and then I took the small pieces and ran them through the joiner, cleaning cleaning them all up, getting the, the old finish off. I love the Grizzly joiner. It, it, ever since I got that, I it just works great. And the router, the router lift is awesome. I use the router lift almost every day. I then sand, had to sand the finish off this the the tower part because it wouldn't go through the joiner, so that took a little bit, but I got that all sanded up and smoothed out, and then I ran it through the router again. It looked nice, really the lamination came out really nice. I then laid out the five shelves, and I basically started from the center and worked out both ways, grabbed a nail gun, and started gluing them up. They're a little tricky to glue like that because um, I had to kind of clamp them in the center of my marks and then shoot them from behind. Another way I could have done it is to run dados and 
that would have held them in place a little better. But I, on this particular thing, I ended up just clamping it and nailing it right where I wanted it. And it, it actually worked out pretty good. I used my nail gun with some stainless steel nails and yeah, it made quick work with it. I, it was a little awkward clamping, but it worked out. The little ridges, uh, I faced them all up and the ridges were on the back of the siding. And it's kind of turned out nice because it almost looked like I put those ridges in on purpose to hold the glasses. After I got it all nailed and looking good, I put some uh, mounting holes in it and then I proceeded to, uh, I decided to use the walrus oil because I like, I just like the natural look of it. Um, it's probably a little expensive to be using it on this, but I ended up using it anyway. And it, it really had a cool look and it matched the, the molding around my door too pretty good. So thanks for watching this episode of Outlaw Woodworking. I really, I really like the way this turned out. I always get excited when I use some scrap wood and turn it into something. And this was some of that old siding that had these ridges on it. And I ended up using the ridges so that the glass is actually, you know, I put all the ridges up so it looks like the glasses have to kind of sit in those ridges. But I ended up, uh, I put some walrus oil on it and I just think it looks great. I really, um, yeah, anyway, uh, eyeglass rack, outlaw style. If you like the video, subscribe and give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, and I will see you next time. We'll see if we can make some more stuff out of some scrap. Anyway, uh, I think this, I used to hang my apron here, so now I'll hang my apron down below, and every time I go get my apron, it'll make me get some safety glasses too. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Later.